I'm just reading Blonde's book that she just left here. Oh the oh the main the hero is taking taking the girl for a a air ride to Dreamland. I'm just reading it silently. Stop reading it, stop reading it. Oh, why? Oh, 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 oh. Is it, is it something, is it something, G, to do, is it something, does it have something to do with you and Blonde? Stop reading it, folks, it's, 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 not, it's nothing you really need to concern yourself with. You gotta eat three tomorrow, why are you even, why are you even up right now? You know, I don't even know, but... I'm gonna, in a minute, I am gonna get into bed, don't worry. But, <laughs> this book is some good stuff, man. Bugsy, uh, well, just stop reading. The, the hero holds the heroine close and says, If you complete me, no, ma no matter where you go, no matter what you do, I will always be bound to you. Let this red string of fate bound us together. <laughs> oh my god, that's cheesy. That's so fucking cheesy. Oh man, I know I write romantic shit. Please come on, give me give me some like you can give me some credit. I don't know about what you want to do writing, but this this is cute. That's the one thing I can say about it. It's cute. It's not really bad. It's just it's just cute because it's just her telling telling you in an indirect way about her feelings about you. And possibly how strong you are. Uh, probably how strong you actually you actually are. <laughs> That's cute. But just stop reading. Okay, G. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. But uh, I'd rather take, I'd rather take this than us uh, sitting through the con conquest ending. Yeah, me too. Sorry, I had to put you through that today. Nah, man, it's it's cool. I just ain't ready for something like that. Ah, don't worry, man. We'll go to we'll go to the hyper dimension. We'll find that sword. We'll fucking break it. We'll break it into so many. Million tiny itty bitty little pieces. No one's gonna know where that thing is. It's gonna take a fucking. It's gonna take fucking. It's gonna take Ray Palmer to put it together. When we're done with it. I just don't want anybody to be tempted. To use that power, man. What we saw was like a worst case scenario. Yeah, it was. It was. I'm not gonna say it wasn't. But hey. As long as they got you. You know. The one beacon of light. In their world. When all else fails. They got you. So they never had to rely on a sword that, kill, that has to kill all the CPUs to do it. Have you? As curls, a lot of people say us curls aren't as strong. We're not as strong when we ha we're not as strong when we don't have something to protect, something to fight for, something, something we, something we need, something that, no, something we fight for, not something we really need, like we're larfies or something. But something we really just truly, you know, want to protect. Do you want to protect all of that? And yes, I may make jokes about a lot of things you do. But you just remind me of a younger me. A younger me that's 
easily shy. Who's honest with himself. Truly. But he doesn't want anybody else to know how he truly feels. I've been there. You know. I think that's one of the reasons I think our timelines are out of sync. Because I have some experience you actually don't. You have experience that I don't. But hey. You know. Remember, if that conquest ending gives you nightmares, remember, just keep saying this to yourself. As long as they have you, as long as they have you, there will never be a day where, they'll, where they will use that sword. There will never be a day where that sword will ever be used. And because if you know, and we'll find that fucking thing and we will rip it and we'll break it in so many different tiny little pieces. And if they were like, it's, if they assembled the pieces or wherever, however they got this, song, we're just gonna destroy it. We're gonna destroy it. You and me. Okay? Yeah. I just. What if I'm not strong enough, man? I know. I grapple with that too, every day. I wonder to myself if I'm strong enough. Will I be? Will I be enough to protect everybody? You know. Was Dad right to just? Was Dad right to choose me as the sole protector of the Carol Clan? I wonder about these things. But hey, you're strong enough, right? You can, you can take out people, maybe a few, with, you can take out the most strongest thing with like the minimal, the minimalist of effort, right? I mean, there's some things that challenge you, but most other things that think that they're strong, other, other creatures that think that they're strong, you can easily take out. Yeah? Am I... Am I reaching you? Yeah, you are. So don't worry about it, okay? You are strong enough. You'll be, be and, and if some if such a scenario happens, you know what to do. Trust me. I didn't give you I didn't give you the whole like I didn't give you how I didn't give you the whole figuring out how to reincarnate. I didn't give you the whole uh, reanim reanimating people from, you know, bringing back people from the dead for no reason. Because if you do it quick enough, if you do it quick enough, Chief, you can save them. But they disappear when they die. They're, like, their bodies disappear. Still, if you do it quick enough, it doesn't matter. It's like an end all be all card. You can only do it every you can only do it every so often. You can't do it every time. Like you can't do it like you can do it in a marathon of, you can do it in like a quick marathon of like a few people. But you can't bring back people who have been dead for a long time. That's the one thing you cannot do. Because they are never the same when you bring them back. If they died like a few minutes, those few minutes are the determiner. You need to understand that, Chief. You are the person that they all confide into. Even Uni. Uni? Yeah. Well, you know, well, you know, in the very meta way, I'm the, you know. I know. You know. Well, I was able to look into Uni's mind. But yeah, she just, she trusts you. She doesn't want you to, you know, break her sister's heart. Yeah, that's uh, comforting, man. <laughs> hey. 
Some things, some things you just gotta take solace in, man. Not everybody's gonna like you, but you gotta remember, it doesn't matter. As long as you're there, as long as you're ready to risk your life for the people you care about, it doesn't matter. You know? It doesn't matter what happens. You're always gonna be there, and you'll always be there to fight the good fight. No matter what. But, I digress. Um, I'm gonna get it. Where? Uh, I'm gonna get the bed. <laughs> Here, here's your book. I'm gonna get the bed, but here's your book back. <laughs> it was a very interesting read. Seriously, man. Don't tell Blonde you. Don't tell Blonde you read it. <laughs> oh, your secret's safe with me. You and... You and, you and Blonde have fun now. <laughs> Bugsy shit. Bugsy shit. Oh, gee, just go, go home. Go home, man. I'll, I'll, lock, I'll lock the studio up. And remember what I said. You're not, you're stronger than you think you are. You hold more power than you ever could imagine. You know why? Why? Because you're me. You are me that is un. You are me that is uninhibited. You are a me that has no limit to what you can do. The overseer basically nerfed me. You, you on the other hand, you can go the distance. You can do everything I can't. And that's why I've been training you. Because you got it in you. So don't worry. Okay? And if any and if anything gets way too hairy or way or anything you cannot handle, do not hesitate to summon me. Okay? Alright. Prime. Thank you. I mean you're kind of like, you're kind of like another brother of mine. When I really think about it, you tease me and you trick me a bit, but I never get this feeling that you truly hate me. I don't. But hey, go, go home. <laughs> go home. Get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, <laughs> here's your book, okay? Here's your book. <laughs> All right, and stop laughing. It's not that funny. Oh, it is. It is. She's cheesy, and so are you. Bye. See ya.